Testing, testing, testing. Test, test, test. Test one, two, test one, two. I'm 
Good afternoon, everyone. If we could just grab our seats, we'll get started in one minute. everyone welcome back to the start of the 21-22 school year as is customary we have our senior class president Zofia Cheria to do a brief welcome back to staff Zofia thank you Good afternoon and hello. As we kick off the new school year, I'd like to express my and my fellow classmates' anticipation and enthusiasm to be returning to some form of normalcy and to have the opportunity to take advantage of the full DHS experience this year. There is no question that the past year and a half has been challenging and draining, but I believe it was also enlightening. One aspect of the pandemic I am grateful for is how we all experienced its craziness together and that we have gained a new understanding and compassion for one another. This period has also underscored the significance of time and attention, and how valuable they are not only to have, but also to receive. Throughout the distraughtness of the pandemic, the wonderful teachers and staff at DHS continued to give their precious time and attention to students, going above and beyond to answer onslaughts of emails or zoom in for extra, countless extra help sessions. It is not said enough how much this time and dedication is appreciated. Thank you for always striving to bring the same joy and passion to the classroom amidst such uncertainty, inspiring students to actively engage in the learning experience. With that being said, I'm so excited and incredibly grateful that we're all here and have overcome so many obstacles and struggles to be back at school once again to share in the gift of learning and camaraderie. 
Ultimately, myself and the student body hope to bring the exuberance and eagerness to learn and to expand our horizons back to the classroom and beyond to truly make the most of our outstanding opportunities at Douglas High School. So let's ring in the new school year by recognizing what we have learned as a school and as a community in the past year and a half and emerge with the motivation and determination for an amazing year. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so grateful to be a part of this school and a part of this amazing community. And I look forward to all the exciting possibilities this upcoming year presents. Thank you. All right, again, as I said, welcome back. Um, we have this being live streamed over in the cafeteria. And if you look over there, if you wanna see what your elementary and middle school colleagues are doing it, you can look over there on the screen and be able to peek into the cafeteria. Before we start, just a few people to say thank you to. Uh, we all know the tremendous undertaking it is to close up one school year and get another school year up and running. We also know that the start of a good school year, making sure that it's smooth, sets the tone for the entire year. When you have those bumps to start, it's not um, good for kids, not good for you. So I want to thank Courtney, Tara, Megan, Cindy, John, Matt, Bob, Josh, and Desi for all their work behind the scenes to get things ready for you and for kids on Tuesday. I'd also like to thank our additional staff members. Our nurses have been fantastic. We met today after the guidance came out on July 30th. They've been a tremendous resource to me. I just want to say thank you to them. Our support staff in the district level and at the buildings have been incredible. Being a building principal for 10 years, I know that your secretaries run the building, whether we think so as principals or not. They are the pulse, they know what's going on. So thank you to them. Our Director of Technology, John Calabresi, and his staff have been wonderful getting things back up and running. Thank you for setting this up. Our custodians have been incredible. They had to piece things back together from last year and make sure things are ready. The building looks absolutely wonderful. The grounds look wonderful. Thank you to them. And our Food Service Director has things up and running. It was interesting. You know it's going to be a good year when principals say, I looked at the menu for kids for the cafeteria for September and I'm excited to eat in the cafeteria. That's a good, good, solid sign. I've said this before, it does take a village to get things up and running for kids. Um, when I used to address the freshman class as a principal, I would tell parents and kids, this is the only time in your life as a, in your lifetime where 250 people get up every single solitary day to make sure your life is better and you have what you need. All of us here wake up every day and come to work to make sure kids have what they need to succeed. So thank you for that. I want to spend a few minutes honoring our staff. Kevin Maine started this a few years ago, I believe, by um, honoring longevity here in the district. And um, if I could have the principals come up, that would be great, and the assistant principals as well. I want to spend some time honoring our staff. Um, our profession in the past 10 years has come under fire. Social media has not helped us all with that. So I want to spend some time honoring people who've spent dozens of years, not only in the profession, but more specifically in the Douglas Public Schools and for what you've done for our kids in our community. What's great about this list that you'll see is not only does it include teachers, it includes paraprofessionals, ABAs, secretaries, custodians, cafeteria workers. It's everyone, and it's truly remarkable. So when I call your name up, socially distant, come up, principal will hand you a small token of our appreciation, then you can head back down the stairs and back to your seats. Aaron, he's very sorry for ruining your side. <laughs> so we'll get everything up and running. We're going to start with 10 years of service to kids and to the Douglas District. So again, when you hear your name, please come up, get your award. Melanie Brundage, Laura Doherty, Jessica Finley, Brian Genesee, Diana Houle, Courtney Lavin, Kevin Luco, 
Jeff Mayotte. Come on up. <laughs> Jeffy Mayotte. Ramona Pastore. David Pope. Tracy Purvis. Ellen Reber. Sharon Rusek. Linda Schulteis. Paul Smith. Laura St. Pierre. Cheryl Steenstra. Jeff Thayer. Lauren Tibbetts. Scott Villamir and Janice Wood. Ten years of service, people. We're on a 20 second delay to the cafeteria, so we do have to wait a few minutes. <laughs> All right, 15 years of service. Eleanor Auger, Aaron Babola, Nancy Ballou, Julie, Julie Bertoni, Christine Blatchford, Kim Bork, Carolyn Brainy, Shannon Bronzo, Kathleen Campbell, Jill Carpenter, Laura Cordani, Christy Cody, Mary Delphos, Caroline Fitzpatrick, Lisa Ford, John Gionne, Kelly Gravison Payne, Kathleen Hayes, Elaine McDermott, Megan Miller, Kristen O'Brien, Krista Petrelli, Heather Simmons, Amy Stand, Jared Stand, Marlena Tedeschi, Nancy Turner and John Wagenheim. 15 years of service, people. Christy Cody, look at that. So you can start decorating your new room. Horrible. Doesn't mean that we Mary, tell us. Oh. Yeah. Well, they spelled your name. But there was a John Janae. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 All right, 20 years of service. That's a long time, 20 years here in Douglas, 20 years anywhere. Michelle Babigian, Amy Baldiga, Susan Biagioni, Emily Costa, Carmen Davis, Teresa DeWitt, Leah McFarland, Leah Farland, Michelle Forrest, Jess Hurley, Stephanie King, Jeff Collette, Carol Mackey, Robin Martinson, Emily Mayo, Brian McGrath, Jay Menchin, Melissa Mulver, Kevin Reardon, Cindy Sosha, Ellen Stand, Stephanie Tamaleo, and Michelle Wheeler. 20 years of service.
Oh, she had it out. Twenty-five years of service. Kimberly Berthium, Kathy Brosnahan, Alden Encore, Danielle Hippert, Sandra Lancaster, Paul Leonard, and Mary Sokol. 25 years. And this is an amazing list. 30 years of service, 150 combined years of service to students in the Douglas community. And what I love about this list is it represents teachers, an ABA, and a cafeteria worker, which is what we're all about. This is unbelievable. So 30 plus years of service. Stephanie Dagenet, Kathleen Gauthier, Linda Hopkinson, Kathleen Jost, and Charlene Luco. Put another round of applause for all these people. If we missed anyone, just let me know. Some of the awards might be in the other room. We also have some new staff we'd like to introduce. Again, when your name is called, if you could just stand up and wave. District-wide, we have Tara Soboleski, Director of Special Education. John Calabrese, way up in the back. Raquel Hammond, our Food Service Director. Megan Zabicki in a new role, and Bob O'Brien, our middle school principal. At the primary school, some familiar names and some new names. Juliana Bomba. Jen Duclos. Where are you, Jen? Oh, there we are, okay. Uh, Mary Hescock. Abigail Adams. Kayla Taylor, and Donovan Velasquez, a custodian doing both the primary and the middle. At the elementary school, again, some new names and some people in different positions. John Giorsi, Cassie Sawyer, Emily Bagley, Catherine Wheelock, and Anya Smith. In the middle school, Principal Bob O'Brien, Adjustment Counselor Kayla Vidian, 7th grade teacher Jack Coyne, and again our custodian, Donovan Velasquez. <laughs> and here at the high school, Lisa DiPaolo, Jolie, Jody Bonnet, Haley Hansen, and Rhonda Freeze. So welcome to our new staff, and welcome back to a new normal, all right? So we all wish we weren't wearing masks this year, but that isn't in the cards for now. Um, the goal for this school year is to get us back to looking how we looked inside classrooms with teaching and learning pre-COVID. So yes, we have to wear masks, but I'm really excited to see back at the elementary school carpet time. So important for our little kids to have that carpet time. That's where you as teachers do a lot of your pre-teaching. That's where kids learn a lot of those social skills. It's where a lot of those soft skills are taught in that carpet time. 
It's where community is made to start the school year off and then developed over the course of the school year. So excited to see that carpet time back. If I heard it once, I heard it a million times from elementary school teachers, just give me back my small table. I need my small table, I need my small group instruction. Really happy to have small group instruction back at all levels. Again, that's where you connect one-on-one, -on -one, two on one, three on one with kids. That's where you make those personal collection, connections. That's where you mitigate some of those learning gaps. That's where you advance some of your advanced kids. So getting back to that small group instruction is important. Science labs, STEM labs, that cooperative work that we saw that was missing last year. It was hard for our high school and middle school science teachers not to have lab work. Great to have that back. Great to have kids working together and collaborating. Never thought I'd say this, but assemblies, class meetings, grade level meetings, something that was missing last year and something that will be back this year with our kids. And finally, that group work, that collaboration, that hands-on instruction. A lot of things that were missing for the past 18 months that our kids didn't have access to that we couldn't do that slowly are coming back. So like I said, we're back to our new normal. Doing a lot of the things you did in classrooms pre-COVID, but also with masks and those safety precautions. So a little bit of perspective for a minute. Thinking about the past 18 months. You look at the picture, is it a duck or is it a rabbit? Are there three poles or are there four? Depends on how you want to look at things. Were the past 18 months tough? Yes. Were they difficult? Yes. Were they horrible on some occasions? Absolutely. Just to think about some of the things you had to endure